Mariam and I love going green. It's very simple, only three things, water, brown sugar and fruit cream. So 10 liters of water, you need 1 kg of brown sugar. This is um, orange skin, amelo skin, apple peel, this is amelo. You got to air tight uh, the cap and uh, I put it air tight. So it's best to put the date where you have started so that you know from three months from this date. Every day you release the air, then you just take off this one, take the take a, a stick and mix it up every day for one month. The the end product is very quick. The uh, orange peel or lemon peel that you have, you mash it up, you put it to your plants as manure. And even this can be used for plants, you, you dilute. Anything you use, you have to dilute because this is very concentrated. So you dilute it in a spray, you can spray on your plants. You will see the leaves coming out very nicely. End product. Cleaning the floor, cleaning kitchen stove, cleaning toilet, even the uh, laundry. Uh, for stubborn stains and uh, for wiping places like the wall, the oily parts. So we use enzyme because it gets scares me. I don't use uh, chemical. I use enzyme only. Actually, when I was working, I never had the... I, I more or less like pushed it off aside, pushed it off aside because everything was easy to get, you know, instead of spending the time doing it. It has been with my my late father. My late father has been telling us, you know, uh, try not to use too much of chemical things. My mom used to take lime and just put into the uh, 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 the washing dish and she just put a drop of soap, uh, wash, dish wash, most of it is lime and she cleans up the dishes with lime uh, just lime water I think is the smells of citrus uh, smell and everything so we have been going on that way I read it somewhere that you know you can make uh, enzyme with fruit peel and vegetables and everything I tried once with vegetables but I couldn't take the smell so I tried with fruit peel I was satisfied with it so I from then on I started using making my own enzyme so the whole house is using enzyme no soap no dishwash no floor floor wash nothing it's very healthy it's economical in certain ways because you don't need much to, to work on it you know nowadays you have a lot of i mean uh, you can't uh, see what kind of disease that comes in you have rashes this and that so when I started using enzyme, I these things don't come into the house. Everything is like dust free, mites free. You feel that the whole house is so fresh. You know, there's no chemical base in, in anything that you do. And then it's like um, nat nature, natural things. The feeling of, if say you wash clothes with, with soap, you know, you wash over and over and over again, you still have the feeling of that soap lining your clothes and then if you even if you soak say white black clothes you soak you have the powdery uh, thing yeah. that you know uh, you have the powdery thing so if you use enzyme or the soap nuts that I'm using to wash in, in the washing machine there's no stains there's nothing it comes out fresh and clean and the, the, the you can feel when you dry your clothes in the sun with, with natural sun you know with, I don't use a dryer you know, the, the clothes are so much more fresher, the smell is nice, there's no smell at all. We have kids in the house, so I keep all chemicals away. So that, you know, even if they open the storeroom, they take whatever it is. There's no, there's no chemical in, in my house. 
with kids running around so i feel that you know it's like you don't have to worry your head off because sometimes you put clorox there the kids go there and then they play they can't take it out and play so i don't have any of those uh, worries doing this enzyme you know it's not only for cleaning purposes or cleaning and everything the plants grows well with enzyme you know the house is the floor is clean with enzyme your clothes are clean with enzyme uh, even like my friend who cannot uh, who's allergic to chemical soap she ba- she bathe she takes enzyme for shower if she's come up very nicely she doesn't have any sore she doesn't have any rashes it's not expensive first thing it's cleaner you know and then when I she washes the plates my basin also gets washed nicely it goes into the drain it washes the drain it takes off the stain from the drain you don't get the smell my late father actually is in the chemical line more on the pharmaceutical line so i suppose he does a lot of reading and studying about all this and he he used to tell us the the more you go natural the more you find your ways of doing things the na- in 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 uh, what nature has given you you know you live a longer life he says you know and you you be you even the air you breathe will be will be fresh and nice that's why he says uh you get pollution everywhere because everybody is using something so he has been encouraging us uh, even cleaning the drain in the house he doesn't use soap he doesn't use soap at all he just say i will just i can and his drain is so clean and white compared to the drains outside probably he read he reads a lot you know and he knows more so when you come to think of it you know my daughter has taken over his books to read and my daughter is very conscious about all this i have a girl and a boy my daughter is 100% na- natural eco environmental you know my father has got a library of books so the only person who has been reading that book is my daughter i have not really gone through the books my daughter is the only one who has been reading the books so i i guess it has built up in her as because when she was schooling she's been reading it so now she she's she's a mother of two she's really all on the way of fighting for environmental things you know i think she picked it up from there because my father had a good range of books she lectures in university in malaya and university of nakurasa and uh, she's with econites uh, and and she has been successful all this way i'm glad for her because uh, whatever effort she has put in to fight for environmental is slowly you know being uh, uh, recognized so well i'm happy I- i'm i'm actually uh, impressed with what she has been doing my son is a marine engineer even in marine engineering where my son works washing the the ship deck and uh, the the engine room is going to pollute the sea so now marine people also have come up with special uh, chemicals it's still chemical but you wash they emulsify the oil then it goes into the sea is not oil anymore you see so my son is also very conscious about all, all this I hope one day you know they'll come out and say okay use uh, eco enzyme and you know wash the whole ship up with eco enzyme is it's better cleaner isn't it it's it's attitude actually is the tidak apa attitude you know it's like I'll wait for tomorrow I'll wait for another day there's no interest I mean they know is it they they can they hear they read about it but they don't practice it that's the only thing I have been trying to tell my my people here very much uh, going all the way and you know giving them samples giving them enzyme samples and tell them to do it but you know I'm happy because uh, say uh, out of 15 10 is doing their own enzyme which is something 
you know that that has uh, cut off a lot of uh, chemical things so a lot of my friends here about 10 families they have been, they are following me they are using all ecoenzyme things going green accord and in food stuff organic is expensive a pineapple that costs maybe three ringgit or two two fifty outside in the market you go for organic it costs about nine to ten ringgit see the price you know it's only people who can afford it it is good but the price kills you but going going green in in what i do is priceless no no there's no i mean uh, you don't spend so much money it is not expensive at all and not tiring every fruit peel orange you eat the peel you just put it into a bag and put it into the fridge in the freezer that's what i do today i took out in the morning because it was all in the freezer so i come when the, the when you have already got enough three kg you just go and buy one kg of brown sugar that's it water is there you see so you have 10 liters of water 1 kg of brown sugar 300 k, uh, 3, 3 kg of fruit peel it's done it doesn't even take half an hour you take the enzyme you just spray and you wipe you don't have to rinse water or nothing I care because um, today as not the days that when we were schooling you know things were very uh, not as it is like today uh, traffic jam pollution you know add up to all these chemical reaction and everything uh, that's where the doctors are making the money because everybody is breathing in some something somewhere you know around the air and you know uh, if you pass to a factory you get the smell of of chemical smell and all those fumes and everything add up to the traffic fumes see it, it has caused a lot of uh, breathing problem children especially they are so sensitive you know and then come home you have these chemical things going on children drop things on the floor then they pick up and eat again when the adults are not looking at them see the floor is not never clean it's never clean someone you use chemical on the floor see what they are taking in chemical plus the dirt so that is why I feel that you know uh, we should we should if one person try two person try three person try he goes on I'm sure the air will be cleaner the air definitely will be cleaner and I, then I realized what my late father was trying to tell me that the environment so he started off from him and we come back and we, we see our city is like this Personally, I was, uh, I'm just hoping that, you know, I can get it as far as I can with, with my friends and everybody. And then from then, you know, they continue uh, giving their friends the same thing. If everybody uses this, I think we have no problem. You have, you have no wastage of fruit peel. You have no wastage of uh, buying a soap wash or uh, detergents and all these things. I hope everybody can, you know, pay some attention, you know, learn something when you read something, when you when somebody tells you something, you know, take the initiative to uh, ask further, try to participate in what people are doing, then you will come to realize how things are.